Welcome to question 4 of the 2018 Mathematical Methods Exam 1 for the Southern Hemisphere. In this video we will be looking at the solution and examination advice for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. So for this question we have let x be a normally distributed random variable with a mean of 6 and a variance of 4. Let z be the random variable with the standard normal distribution. For part A, we're asked to find the probability that x is greater than 6. So to summarise, we know that x is normally distributed with a mean of 6 and a variance of 4, which is the same as the standard deviation of 2 squared. So a normal distribution would have a bell-shaped curve that would look something like this. And we know that this value is the mean of 6 and that there's a standard deviation of 2 or a variance of 4. And the probability that x is greater than 6 is this region here. And by symmetry properties of that bell-shaped curve, we know that the probability that x is greater than 6 is going to equal 1 half or 0 0.5. So that is the answer to part A of this question. So from the examiner's report, we can see that almost 80% of students got this question correct and that the examiner says that it was well answered with students mostly recognising and applying the symmetry property of the normal distribution about the mean, meaning that there's half the probability is above it and half is below the mean. For part B, we need to find the value B such that the probability X is greater than seven is equal to the probability Z is less than B. So over to the right hand side, we're going to draw two normal distributions. So two symmetric bell shaped curves one on top of the other. So they're going to look something like this. For the first one, this is going to be x, and we know that it is normally distributed with a mean of six and a variance of four. So that means that this value here is the mean, so it's six. This value here would be eight. This value here would be 10 if we go one standard deviation up and down at a time, so this would be four and two. And we're interested in the probability that x is greater than 7. So 7 would lie around here, and this is the probability of x being greater than 7. On our next bell-shaped distribution, we know that this is z, and it is normally distributed with a mean of 0 and a variance of 1, or a standard deviation of 1. So this mean value here is going to be 0, and then this would be 1 and 2, and this would be minus one and minus two. And we need the probability that z is less than b to be equal to the probability that x is greater than seven. So by symmetry, we can see that this region here would be the region that we're after. So b will be this number just here. So to answer this question, we need to remember that we can standardize using the formula that a standard z score will be equal to x subtract the mean divided by the standard deviation. So for this question, we'd have z is equal to the x score of seven, so that's this value here, minus the mean of six divided by the standard deviation of two, not the variance, but the standard deviation, and that value is going to equal one over two. However, from our diagram, we can see that b is negative, so therefore b is equal to negative one half, and that is the answer to this question. So from the examiner's report, we can see that 40% of students got this correct, and that most students understood what was required, as was evidenced by a sketch graph of a normal distribution and relevant areas being highlighted. Some students did not standardize and left their answer as five, or, or they mistakenly thought that the variance was the standard deviation, and that resulted in an answer of negative a quarter instead of negative a half.